Hello suits and welcome to this tutorial, yay, where I'm going to be showing you how to put any image inside Minecraft on a map. Um, you can get different variations, different sizes with these maps. If you really want to impress people, you can go like super size with it. It is uh, kind of crazy like how powerful this program is. I was able to do this in like, you know, just a couple of minutes. And you can put any image you want to and it is really fast, really easy to do. So let's get to it. All right, the first thing you're going to need to do is in the description of this video, there will be a link to this site. Trey Ashtar has created this program where it can convert any image into Minecraft maps. So uh, you can read through this if you want to. We're going to be going through it all. So this is like how to use it. But essentially, you just want to click this and this will download it for you. There we go, it downloaded. I'm going to go to my uh, downloads and I'm going to drag everything onto my desktop. So I'm going to minimize that, drag it, and there we go. So now we have it, uh, we need an image to convert. I am, I'll double click it to like show you what it looks like. Uh, you'll have to install it just to make sure everything looks good and that's what it looks like, right? So now I'm gonna go look for an image. So uh, I'm gonna go with this image because it's two features. One, all the colors and two, it's transparent, which is something you cannot get inside uh, Minecraft by itself. The only way you can get transparent colors is if you do it through a program like this. So I'll save that, it's on my desktop. So now that it's on there, uh, you will want to leave your pixel art on uh, for for uh, importing it. And then um, if you just want like one image, you'll want it on scale. So when you open it, uh, it'll default to where whatever folder like it is in. So if it's in your documents folder, like that's where this will open up. So uh, it's best to like keep everything in one spot. It's a lot easier to navigate. So I'll click that. It imports automatically. You can export it. Uh, it exports right in the same folder that's in. So uh, map zero, export, and then that's your map file route. So now that we have our map file, we need to put it into our world. So if we go into our world and we go into, this is a world I already have set up for everything. So once it loads, um, I'm going to be putting it in this frame. So what we need to do is that we need to create a map that can go into that world or into that frame. So I right click it and you see it's map. Uh, check and make sure what type it is. I've got a map eight for this one, probably because I was previously doing a test. So like that's the map that's on right now. So now I can put my map up here and it's good to go. We can leave and now we can take this file and drag it in. Because it's a map eight, you have to make sure to check those, make sure to ch change that to eight. You can change it when you export in the program itself. So once you have that lined up, when you click your uh, world, you click on edit. And then from here, you want to click open folder. What this does is that it bypasses all that percent app, app data percent stuff, and it goes straight to the folder in which you have your saved stuff. So you can see there's a dot Minecraft save tutorial test, which is what this world is called. So from here, we want to go into data. And in data, we have our map file here. So now what we want to do is take our new converted image, drag it in, we want to replace it, and now when we go back into the world, it should be the new image that we put in there. And there we go. You can see it's all nice and beautiful, and you can see that it um, you know, looks amazing. So uh, one thing, there'll be a download for this. This will essentially get rid of item frames for your images. There'll be a link in the description of the video for that. So if your images have transparency, you may want to get rid of the item frames. Um, as you can see, it looks a lot better without having, you know, the item frame thing on there. You cannot get rid of those uh, blocks. That's like part of the map for the transparency. So that's unfortunate. But, you know, from far away, you can't even tell that like those boxes are there. But that's like the essential process of putting these maps in your world, right? So now I'm going to show you how to do it on multiple maps. So I'm going to exit out of the world. I'm going to go back to... The program. So when importing the stuff, if you do normal image, it converts it based on what the pic picture is. So you may get like blurriness if you're like trying to take an image that's smaller and like blow it up. Uh, pixel art, it uses a specific type of converter that makes it very like blocky and like hard edges. So in my opinion, you'll use this most of the time, but if you want like a soft blurry look, you'll want to do the, uh, the normal image. So we're gonna leave that as pixel image, and this time we're gonna do a split so that we can do a two by two image. So we're gonna open, select it again, and now it gives us this option where we can change the height and the width of it. So now we've got two by two, and we want to convert. We will want to export these 
And because if you remember in my world, I started with map eight, I want to turn this into map nine. That way I don't have to change them later. So I export them, they do their thing. Uh, map nine we can delete because that is this one here. We want the four that are going on there. So now, uh, like I said before, we can go into the world. We need to create those maps first. If you create, if you put the files into your folder without creating the maps, you will, when you actually create the map in this in the Minecraft world, you will overwrite the file and then you'll have to re-export and re-put uh, in the, uh, the file names. Oh my. All right, so I got all of those. I don't need nine because like I said before, that's that was like the duplicate. So I'm gonna put these up here and it's going from top left to, you know, Z shape basically. So now I can X out of the world. I can go into my world edit, open folder. And now when I go into data, you can see all my world or my maps are there. So I can take all of them, drag them in, replace. And then when I go back into my world, they should be all set up and good to go. And there you go, simple as that. There is one more thing I wanna show you guys. There's actually a way without creating like each individual map and then like putting them in your frames, there is a way to uh, use a command block in your creative worlds to uh, automatically create one of these uh, things. So I'm gonna go back to the program. I'm gonna close it out to like clear it out. So I'm gonna go back into it. I'm going to um, convert my image to split again. And this time I'm going to have it sort of a rectangle. So we'll go a width of three and a height of two. So this will make it like really fat and like a little stubby tall. So with this, when it converts out, we've got this mosaic width. You want the mosaic width to go with the width of your uh, image. So because we selected three, we want this to match with three. So now when we export, we want map, um, like I said before, we can do map zero because those map files are gone in this world. So I'm just gonna start at zero. Uh, you get this uh, code here, and this code you will be putting into a command block in your world. So this will not work in your survival world because obviously you can't get command blocks, but you, uh, you just click copy and it copies into your thing. We can now go into the world and put it in. Now, doing it this way is a little different. You actually have to put your map files in before you put in uh, your code into the world. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna exit out of the world really quick. I'm gonna go into my folder. I'm gonna go in um, and yeah, copy and paste these in. So there we go. I have my map zero through five in there. We can exit out of that, go back into our world and now when we use a command block to generate this thing, it will, oh, I need to give myself a command block. Uh, give at player command block. So there we go, we got the command block. We can just right click, since we copied it from earlier, we can just paste it in. Now we'll get to my button, my button. We'll put that on there and then when we click it, it should, there we go, create the image. So it's very important to remember, oop, looks like it's getting dark out. Goodbye, son. Um, so yeah, it's very important to remember that when you're doing it this way, you need to create the maps before you replace the files. And when you do it this way, you have to put the files in before you uh, create, put the command block in there. Yeah, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys find this like very exciting and interesting. Like basically any world that you have access to the files, you can do this. So. It's very cool. It's a nice way to like spruce up your house if you want like a specific look going for it. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this as much as I have making it for you guys. Take care.